Hey everyone, Jess here and thanks for tuning into this week's episode of Recall. Now earlier last week, we got a look at the new season 4 LCS contract and the new rules regarding players who stream. This caused uproar in the community, but there have been many changes since. The leaked contract said that players who are participating in the LCS could not play certain games on their stream. These games included Dota 2, Dawngate, the entire Blizzard franchise, Heroes of New Earth, Smite, and several more. This contract was put in place simply because these players are the face of competitive League of Legends. Esports is continually growing. With each and every event, they are closer to becoming full-on athletes of an unprecedented sport. Sponsorship and advertisement concerns will grow along with this era. After much discussion on the new policy, the director of esports, Riot Magus, explained, Some game studios were trying to buy access to League fans by using LCS teams or players to promote competing games on their stream. Through the community's outreach, they realized that this sounded very, as Riot Bacon Hawk said, unriot of them. They read through the comments, discussed the issues, and came up with a solution that would more closely match their initial intent. Riot Magus stated, while under contract to the LCS, teams and players can't accept sponsorship from other game companies to promote their titles. Besides that, they are free to stream any game they want. The contract that we originally saw was not the finalized contract, and was still in negotiation. At the beginning of the year, we learned that champion production was going to be cut back. In 2012, 19 champions were released. This year, only 7 as of Jinx. Something you may not have originally noticed, though, is the increase in champion updates. Riot puts their all into every project they're involved with, whether it's a rework or a champion release. With 116 champions, there's a big art discrepancy with older and newer champions in League. With this, Morello has stated that they will work on projects that support this larger champion pool, such as reworks, visual upgrades, and complete relaunches. Nine champions have seen some kind of revamp this year. Annie, Karma, Sejuani, Trundle, Master Yi, Ramus, Sivir, and Nasus. The majority of these have received fairly good feedback from the community, which has sent the green light to Riot that these are things that people want. However, there's no plan to stop champion production. And as more come out, new banning systems may come as needed. As far as banning goes now, there's no talk about increasing the ban number to 8 anytime soon. Morello says that he feels there's still plenty of room left for new and fresh champions. But the champions they have in their site for updates are Shaco, Warwick, Urgot, Poppy, Alistar, Scion, and Zillion. There is a lot of Snowdown Showdown content on the PBE right now. This includes everything from a new game mode, the return of Snowdown Showdown skins, and summoner spell icon upgrades. So let's go over some of these changes. First, let's talk about the mode that will be replacing one for all. Showdown lets you duel against an opponent either solo or with a partner. This mode will be played on the Howling Abyss, but you will be able to go back and heal and buy at any time. In order to win, you must get first blood in 1v1 or two kills in 2v2. You can also win by being the first team to hit 100 CS or destroy an enemy tower. You will also be able to get your hands on some skins like Snow Bunny Nidalee and Silent Night Sona. The former Snowdown Showdown skins are coming back. And for those who had them before, you'll get a nifty new icon and a vintage loading screen like these shown. This will work just like the Harrowings return. Skins bought just last year will not have the vintage screen. But if you did miss last year's sale, here's your chance to grab some of those skins. We also have the splash art for the three newest Snowdown Showdown skins. Winter Wonder Lulu, Snow Day Singed, and Snowstorm Sivir. Some of the summoner spells will be seeing a slight rework too. Ignite, Flash, Clairvoyance, Teleport, Clarity, Barrier, and Revive will all have new icons in the upcoming patches, so be sure you keep an eye out for that. Yasuo's release is creeping closer, and though we may not have a date yet, we're getting some more information on our new samurai. We've already discussed the origin and meaning of Yasuo, which is honest or peaceful man in Japanese. Riot chose this way of writing it. The first symbol means ease or peace, and the second simply means man. Originally, this seemed like an odd choice for a name, seeing as how Yasuo was portrayed as a murderer and a traitor in his teaser. Later in his reveal, we learn that he was wrongfully blamed for the murder of an Ionian elder. Years later, he came face to face with his brother, who he defeated and killed. Yasuo is not his birth name, however. It was changed to that at his sword school. Yasuo also has special interactions with Riven. Which way's more, Riven? Your blade or your past? Everyone faces a reckoning, Riven. You can't run from yourself, Riven. I've tried. Broken sword. 
broken spirit. It's not stated whether or not Riven was actually the true murderer of the Elder, but Yasuo expects that she is the culprit. He doesn't threaten Riven in his voiceover, however. Riot Ransom says that this is the beginning of a conversation between these two who have so much in common. Now it's time to discuss some gameplay comments and concerns, mostly with the ultimate Last Breath. This ability can only be cast on an airborne champion. The concern was Yasuo could ult to a champion that has caused a self-inflicted knockup. Well, there's no need to worry. Yasuo's ult can only be cast on a knockup or knockback applied by either him or a teammate. Tristana's rocket jump, Zig's satchel charge, or Corky's Valkyrie will not make them targetable by Yasuo. The same goes for neutral monster knockups such as Baron or Vile Maul. Wind Maul is still a huge topic as well. There isn't a complete list on what will be blocked by this ability, but we have a very good idea on how it will work. And just some more examples that were given. Range basic attacks will be blocked, as well as Lux's prismatic barrier despite it not doing any damage. A lot of people want me dead. They call it justice. I'm the only one who knows the truth. All I have left is the wind by my side. Be sure to tell me what you think of Yasuo. Do you think you'll enjoy playing him, or does he just not seem like a champion for you? Also leave me any question you may have on him. And tune back in next week for all of your latest news and leaks.